Oh my god. That's not even tight. Hi everyone. Today we need to look at TT's brake caliper because it's rattling. So first things first, I'm not going to take the hammer to the bodywork. Sorry, Alex. Just get the dog dish off. So, I don't have my ugga dugga gun with me today. So, I want to crack off the nuts with this. Oh, got it right the first time. Oh, TC's moving. Look, I better put the handbrake on. Handbrake deployed. Oh, blimey. Oh, well, that one's not very tight, but this one is. Oh. oh blimey. That's way too tight, that one. It should not be that tight. Hang on. Cool. Way too tight. Okay. Let's jack him up. Okay, now we've got the car off the ground, or this wheel off the ground. Rolls nicely. You can hear the bearing, as you could when I put the new bearings in, but it doesn't sound quite so right, even though we've adjusted up the bearings. So, um, let's get the wheel off. Wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. Hang on. There it is, 19. No, 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 19, 19. If you know the name of the guy who sang that, put it in the comment section below. No, 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 19, 19. And tell me what it means. Bonus points. Oh. For the year it came out. Oh. Now you are currently sat on my toolbox, so I'm going to have to move you. Okay, TC's wheel is off. Put him. Put him under the car. Okay. So that brake disc looks good. Nice and shiny, as you can possibly tell. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the steering that away so I can get a bit more access to the brake caliper because... I don't know if the microphone's going to pick it up because I've got my microphone. Um, yeah, it's definitely... Actually, no, you can just... See the... Yeah, I can actually see the whole caliper is moving, even though the locking tabs are folded up. So I think that is what's causing the rattling. Can't feel any movement in the drum in the in the drum itself in the hub itself. So yeah, the caliper definitely not tight. Okay.
key in the ignition if I don't do that the steering will lock there we go turn the ignition off don't want to kill the battery even though the the isolator is on okay so let's bring you in under the car because I've now got myself a little tripod and I've got a little light attached to it as well so I'll bring you in and adjust you so you can see fingers crossed you can see I'll put the light on I don't know if that's going to help I don't know there we go I don't know if you can tell what we've got. I'll grab the other light just in case. Okay. So we've got that bolt there and that bolt there now where can I put this so it's going to be visible not enough to blind me hopefully so we've got two big bolts if you look you see that so what we need to do is we need to tap down this tab up the tab up there out And there's some, oh, hang on. That's not being tapped up on that one. Oh, okay. Let's get a little chisel and a hammer. Found my chisel. Chisel my nizzle. Okay, so let me tap that one. Hang on, I'm going to do it. have to do it left-handed, this one, I think. Hang on, I've got a little... Um... Hang on. This one, I've got a red one, it's like a little punch, got like a flat end to it. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and the bottom one, I don't think I did these up tight enough. Do you? I'll try and get under here a bit so I can see right I found it yeah see I'm learning stuff as I go Right, I think those are down flat enough. And these look like a 17 mil. That's the guesstimation mind. So I will find a 17 mil and report back.
I am completely wrong. It's a 19 millimeter. So I've got my, because I don't have a bigger size. I don't have a ratchet with the big size fitting. So I've got an adapter to fit my trusty. So let's see if we can get this undone. Oh my God. That's not even tight. Oh, sh sugar. I was going to swear then. And neither is that one. Oh my God. <sighs> Please feel free to tell me off. I'm going to do the other side. This is just not, that's not good enough. And I'm sorry. Putting myself in danger. Absolutely ridiculous. How could you do that, Simone? You're absolutely ridiculous. That wasn't even under any any kind of pressure. Look at that. My God. Right, that's got a bit of crud in the threads. I am going to put some blue Loctite in here. I've got my, my torque wrench and it has to be done up between 45 and 50 pound torque. My God, you absolute numpty. The only saving grace was that two locking tabs were folded up so the nuts, the, the bolts couldn't actually come out. You absolute fool, Simone. Okay, so how much do we need to put on the thread? Clean surfaces. For more information, refer to the technical worksheet on the website. Why not print it on the back of the card? Designed for locking of thread fasteners which require disassembly with standard hand tools. That's fine. It might have some kind of destructions on the back of the on the back of the bottle. Normal medium. Oh my God, the writing's tiny and it's just telephone numbers and contact information. Okay. Right, let's grab the torque wrench. And the extension bar. How could I be so foolish? See, I do things wrong. But then again, I think we're all, we're all kind of guilty of doing things wrong. So I've got the, the 19 mil on the torque wrench. I've set the torque wrench to 50 pound. It's the marker just under the 60, even though it's like 60, it says it's the lowest. But it's two markers below that. So I've used the one marker below, six, below 60. Fingers crossed that'll do. So what I'll do when I'm ready... I'll lock off the bottom and then do this. So I'm going to use the wire brush on this bolt. No, it's okay. I'm using a, a rag instead. Nothing wrong with using a rag. Get your nail into the groove on the bolt and just unturn it from your hand. So... There we go, clean. Okay. Oh, come on. I've never used this stuff before. Ever. For anything. Oh, interesting. Do I need to punch a hole in the end of it? I don't know. It looks like I put, need to put a pin in the end. Oh, don't do that. I haven't got a pin. Yeah, apparently it needs a pin. Oh, for God's sake.
just realised I've got a pick. And that's got a fairly sharp end on it, so I can use that. Or have I got to snip the end off? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, no. Yeah, just put a hole in the end. Cool. Okay. Okay, so I've got some blue thread lock on there now. So let's put that back in where it comes from. I need to move you so you can see a bit better. It's very bright sunlight. No, you can't really see what I'm doing. I'll just put you further back there. Okay. What I'm going to do is put the big bolt on the, this big adapter and tighten that up by hand. It's just easier to do it this, this way. What I need is a big piece of cardboard here to like block the sunlight so you can see. That might work. Not really. Oh. Okay, so the bottom one is in my hand. Let's get the top one out. And we'll do the same with the top one. Sorry about the sunlight, everyone. It's not the best. Oh, there we go. Bolt is out. There we go. So let's get the rag. Give it a clean. Really should tie my hair up. Wouldn't be me if I did that. Right, okay. Nice clean bolt. Let's put some blue thread lock on. I can talk this baby down. I think that should be enough. I don't know. Right, that's going in. There he is. Okay. Now, there's not a huge amount of room under here, and this is a very long torque 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 wrench. So I'm gonna try and get this in there. There we go. Come 
Come on. Well, that's fifty pound of talk, apparently. And so is that. Now, it doesn't seem like a lot. So, uh, now I'm going to, hang on, look at that, no rattle. I will have to take TC out for a, a quick drive to test this side. You can't really see. There's a the sunlight. It's so bright. I'll bring you in this way. Maybe. Don't know how much you can see there. Yeah, you can see the top of the bowl there, look. There's a, a pl um, part of the thingy sticking that way. And it's difficult to get to. So I need to have a screwdriver coming in this way. And then try and tap it if I can. Somehow. The lower one is going to be much more of the same down there. The lower one underneath I can get to quite easily, but that front one, exactly the same situation. So you can see me better like that. If it's the other way around, the sunlight just blurs up the screen. Madness. Can I just tap this with a hammer? Can I? Ooh. No, can't. No more rattle. I think I caught my color, caught my uh, microphone. Then let's open the window, make things easier. I can reach the steering then. So if I turn it that way, it might be easier to get in there. Oh, actually, yeah. I think I can get in there, actually, with this chisel. I hope. Ah, look at that. Please hold still. Please don't undo. This chisel's actually cutting into the metal, so that's not good. Let's use this instead. 
it's a shame because it's like it's not a very big end on the on the drift. I'm hammering my hair, by the way. See all these little improvements I'm making to this car. And then I go and do a boo-boo like that. The awkward thing is, when you do the bolt up, sometimes that... It's not, you get the angle like that, and then you've got the flange in front of it, so you've got to try and bend the flange around the corner piece of the bolt. Hmm. But that's torqued, and that's now um, Loctited. Not sponsored by Loctite. Wish I was. So, there we go. That one's done. It's no longer loose. Can I turn the wheel? Can I? That's not easy. Not when one wheel's on the ground. So, let's get the wheel back on and see if we need to do the other side. I won't film that, but, you know, Let's move this board out of the way. Let's put you back on the toolbox. Too high up. There we go. What I might be able to do is get underneath and have a butcher's, as they say, and just see if the tabs are knocked over. Nineteen mil, where are you? There you are. I'm going to quickly have a look on the other side. Unfortunately, the tabs on that side aren't top, top knocked over at all. So I'm going to get that done. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for enjoying TC. And I promise I won't do that again. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Memberships are there if you want to do it. 
and I've also got Patreon.